I'm back. Rhodes Rants on Star Wars. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Join the Road Squadron. Today, from StarWarsNewsNet.com, details on bringing Leia back to life in The Rise of Skywalker. As we all know, The Rise of Skywalker is the ending conclusion to the Skywalker saga. And... They have said one of their biggest challenges is bringing back and how to handle Princess Leia, played by Carrie Fisher, who is now deceased. StarWarsNewsNet.com says the following. A contact of mine, who requested to remain anonymous, delved into how they are bringing Leia to life in The Rise of Skywalker. If you're worried about spoilers, worry not. This does not spoil anything. Quote, they are combining clips. There will be no horrible digi-double that was used for Leia in Rogue One. This is all being done in what we call, quote, comp. There will be some digital work done, aging hair, so her face and body match. But not the uncanny valley like Tarkin in Rogue One. They will be changing her hair or adding wrinkles as she looked very different between TFA and The Last Jedi, which doesn't make sense because one movie started right after the other one. But okay. The Rise of Skywalker will take place about one year after The Last Jedi. We had heard rumors of three to five years, and a couple of weeks ago, one year was sort of confirmed. That's a shame. Should have been more time in between the movies. It makes sense for Abrams and company to want to give a Leia a unique look compared to varying changes in appearance between TFA and The Last Jedi. My contact showed me a more elegant and technically sophisticated mapped out image, which I didn't want to share publicly. So here is my own ragtag version of what they showed me with a legend. And we will take a look at this. This is basically the yellow is her performance in her face from The Force Awakens. The blue is a body double slash stand-in to establish a physical presence in the environment of The Rise of Skywalker. And the red would be the background, which would be the jungle planet that will be introduced in The Rise of Skywalker. And here is something else where there was a comparison done between The Rise of Skywalker and The Force Awakens. I've got to be honest with you. I don't love the look that she's got in The Rise of Skywalker. In this day and time, it's kind of strange to me that the CGI still doesn't look any better than this. Uh, with the aging and the, you know, the more gray hair, etc., etc. So... I don't know. I, I don't know how this is going to turn out. It may it may turn out fine. Uh, that one little shot we got of her in the teaser, I thought she looked okay. I thought she looked fine. Uh, but the Vanity Fair shot that I saw, I didn't love. I didn't love it at all. So I don't know how that is actually going to turn out in the end. One thing I do want to say is a lot of people have said, well, just don't have her in the movie or blah, blah, blah. Look. I look at it this way. If her family signs off on it and they are in support of it, I'm not going to come out and be like, okay, she shouldn't be in the movie. Or or if they would have said no and then Lucasfilm proceeded, yeah, I'd have buried Lucasfilm's asses over it. Uh, but the fact that they sort of stepped up and, and signed off on this thing, I'm fine with, with Leia being in the movie. Now, they better not kill her off. I think that'd be highly disrespectful. Of both Carrie Fisher and the character of General slash Princess Leia. You tell me what you think in the comments section below. Road Squadron. Peace them out. Till next time.